Nebley Hill Road is approximately 12 miles long, and in these 12 miles is some of the best scenery in the state of Arizona. There are two parts to this road, the Alpine Ponderosa Forest and the High Desert Red Rock section. I first went on this road in the early 1980s. The alignment of the road is different now than when I first took this track. It used to go through an abandoned summer camp. Since then, the summer camp has been sold and the Forest Service has realigned the road around the property. On the Alpine section in the past, there has been dry camping during the summer, but due to the drought in the western states have been suffering because of lack of water and major forest fires erupt. So check with a forest ranger to see if you can camp or what condition is the road. During the winter months, or if there is a fire emergency, they close the road. I have taken a passenger car on this road, but I wouldn't recommend it. I have a four-wheel drive, three-quarter ton Dodge Ram long bed, and have had no problem except for the dirt that gets on the truck. I also have taken a Toyota Tacoma truck and bent a rod, which cost over $1,000 to repair. First and foremost, if you don't live in the area, check with the Coconino National Forest Ranger. I find it preferable to take the road from I-17 to the lookout and return. The Snebly Hill Vista Lookout is one of the most awesome sights in the state of Arizona or any place else in the world.
As you can tell by this video, the road is very, very rough. The Red Rock session is the roughest, and it's rock. So when they try to grade it, you can't. Sometimes they will put sand or dirt on the certain areas, but it washes away pretty quickly. The National Forest Service has a fee when traveling from Sedona to just pass the lookout. If you don't stop, you don't have to buy the Red Rock Pass. I do not recommend or encourage you to travel this road and will not take responsibility if you do so. Rental cars will not let you travel on this road and you can void your contract if you do so. With GPS tracking, they know where their vehicles are in real time. Outside Sedona and just off of Snebley Hill Road is an RV park. I have never stayed there, but I've driven through it and it looks pretty nice. The road is approximately six miles of Alpine Ponderosa and approximately six miles of Red Rock High Desert. They have a Jeep tours out of Sedona that you can take on the road. Red Rock passes can be purchased on AZ-179 in Sedona.
This video has been a combination of video that I have taken over several years. It includes both the Ponderosa and the Red Rock side of the road, giving you a good idea of what it's like to be here on Snebley Hill Road. It is original content. It has been produced by myself, Fred Tankersley. It's been directed by Karen Johnson. And we'd like to thank Chuck McKibben of VoiceOverIsland.com who produced the audio for this video. I'm Fred Tankersley. Thank you for joining us for Exploring Snebley Hill Road.